our stuff up will have we'll... all right i'm gonna run to the restroom real quick okay uh jeremy DePolo is available do we want to have him join us you get the three-man booth going yeah let's get a three-man booth going all right i'm gonna run to the bathroom okay i'll get jeremy on here Okay, so while Bill is doing that, and while we wait for our member, uh, for our, t it looks like uh, Casey is ready. So we'll have uh, we'll have them joining us here momentarily. But while we're doing that, let's get Jeremy DePolo on. Uh, Jeremy did commentary for the NPC remotely, and he also went to the Endor Grand Prix a couple months ago. Uh, he had a top eight himself. Get Jeremy on here in a second. And for those who are still watching, uh, next week on Hollow Theater, we're going to have the uh, N Nationals winner will be on, and Kendall Hallman. Your nationals team champion will be uh, will be on as uh, my co-host. Looks like okay, so it looks like Matt Scott is playing old allies. Old allies and new allies. Always happens. So, is Mascot on the new allies? Yeah. Brian Fred bought him on. Um, definitely partners with Fred uh, whenever he comes to events, stays with Fred. So, he was brought on. He was an early, early new ally. An original new ally. We're bringing on an original new ally right now. Ooh. Exciting stuff. Okay, Jeremy, are you there? As soon as Jeremy gets a hold of us, we'll have him again join us here momentarily. And just move things around a little. Hey, what's up? Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, we can hear you. Cool. Let me get my camera up. Hold on one second. Okay. Welcome. And whenever you get a second, Jeremy, can you t uh, send me over your GIMP name? Yeah. Well, I did see Casey earlier, but now I don't see him, so. Yeah, he was there. He, uh, he ran away once he realized he was playing against the world's runner-up Matt Scott. Well, I was going to say he ran away after realizing he was going to play against the new allies. But sure, we'll go with that one. Uh, once we have those, we'll let you guys know what are being played. DCT for Casey, huh? CCT, that's an interesting one. Like, I, I feel like right now the the, be the two best decks for are OA and Shadow Collective. What do you think, Bill? 
I would certainly push back against Shadow Collective. That would be easily my third choice for Dark, if not worse. Um, really? What do you What do you guys want for Dark? On the team actually ended up on Shadow Collective today, though. So maybe they they found something in testing that I haven't seen yet. Um, but just the fact that there's so much uh, late side mains in the meta right now, mm-hmm. I feel like Shadow Collective has a tough time. Um, That's fair. And we um, have a Mithril on it. the table. <laughs> um, I would not play it. Uh, I would be looking at Bring Him Before Me or Rops as two of the best dark side decks. Really? Right now. Um, Why Bring Him Before Me? Uh, just because it always seems to match up well with mains, right? So, like, a lot of these main okay. sets um, can, uh, whatchamacallit, can take away Luke, potentially, um, except for Hitko, which is why I always mention Hitko. And then um, you're just built to beat mains, right? Like, you know that's the thing, and things that mm-hmm. beat mains are Lord Vader swinging a saber at him, right? That's a good point. Yeah, with all those Jedi around right now, you want to get Lord Vader, or Lord Vader, who can add, what, one to his swing... Pretty good, pretty solid immunity, pretty solid defense value. I can see that. Um, I'm, like, I'm, like, there's always this pendulum swing, right? Like, so when uh, when Shadow Collective was really good, there wasn't. It's because there wasn't a lot of mains in in the the meta, and then you saw mains come back in the meta, and I feel like Shadow Collective kind of mm-hmm. stepped down a peg, and so you're gonna see light side open up more. Like, so. I think something like Diplo is much more playable right now uh, than it was previously. Um, okay. And that's weird, right? So, like, you have to... The, the dark mains will rise to meet the light mains, and then stuff like Diplo will start to go wide versus dark mains, and then you'll bring Shadow Collective back, who can uh, take out the Diplo type thing, right? So there's always that kind of movement going on, in my opinion. That's um, a sign of a good meta, though, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I certainly agree. I think this is a very good meta. I don't know. When you can't play decks like Rescue the Princess Fee or WAP or Invasion, is that really a good meta? Why can't you play Invasion? Uh, Light Side Banes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> now, I do agree. I think ROPS, like you said, is one of the, the better decks out there. I do agree with you there. Uh, the big thing for ROPS is, though, do you really want to play ROPS four times in one day? I don't think so. I don't time out very often. Um, and I understand, like, this, this isn't necessarily a time argument, it's like a strategy argument, but like, mm-hmm. or a thinking argument. Um, but I, I don't think there's a ton of thinking in ROPS right now in a lot of games because it's so powerful. Oh. Like, you just put stuff down and draw a nine. Like, it's, it almost plays itself. It's not this mm-hmm. difficult deck to play, in my opinion. Yeah. Now, I will say this, though, not on the Jemp meta, but at least in person, you got to look at the, the the dark side deck that won the Indo Grand Prix. Ages of Black Sun. Yeah, you can look at it. That's fine. <laughs> I think it's fine. I think it's a fine deck. And I think Jeff, mm-hmm. the same thing we talked about with Kendall earlier with Court, Jeff has been playing that deck probably since he started playing um, sure. at that at that higher level. Um, in almost every event, so I think Jeff just has that familiarity with it. Same with um, yeah. both Jared and Joe; they play it a lot, so they have that familiarity with it. Um, but I think, in general, as like a like a deck for somebody who wants to pick up the best deck in a meta and play it, I don't know that it's Black Sun, or that it's going to be Black Sun. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so Casey has done the transportation of the myth roll to the audience chamber and we are on, on over to Matt Scott's turn so he's going to he pulls out Leia and Lando again you're pretty much your go to first turn for an old, old allies player uh, I don't think you're going to see him I think when he, I think if you're Matt you want to establish on Jakku okay uh Everything just went funky there for a second. I have not seen that. I think you're fine. Okay. Okay. Whew. No, it just like froze for a second. I think, Jeremy, did you join us on the team viewer? Yeah, just for a second. Okay. So that's probably what it was. 
what do you guys think about uh casey playing cct here with the uh, with all the changes i think cct is still a pretty strong deck uh it does it still does what it wants to uh you still have to avoid that first turn you know everybody come down to the audience chamber with boba fett but but it, it's it's still pretty strong I mean, I, I I don't like that light side just gets a free character that nobody really uses to be the prize now, and they have no downsides to it. Like, I wish, like, it had something against the light side, like Jabba's Prize V and Jabba's Prize. But clearly design knows what they're doing. Yeah, and I, I mean, think like the, the downfall of CCT was kind of greatly exaggerated. Like people were like, "Oh, this is unplayable type deck." Um, I know people on our team said that even like mm -hmm. how difficult it was to play now. But you put it together, and it still beats a lot of decks. And there's the Falcon going up to Jakku for Matt. Uh, it looks like he got Lando and Ray on it. Yeah, he went through his use pile, so that must be Ray. Yeah, and I, I think the new interrupt for CCT actually adds. Uh, a new layer to it, so I think it's very interesting. Okay, Matt does get out his battle plan, so he's got aim battle plan up. or battle plan aim high and another shield out as well. Yeah, like Dorsha's saying in chat, CCT just kind of becomes like there's always one deck that's kind of like the enforcer type deck where it, it's mm -hmm. the fair deck that makes sure that you as a light side player, you need to be able to beat this deck uh, to make your deck viable. And CCT feels like that deck for me for dark. That's fair. Now we know that Kendall Holman is one and oh, I want to see what he's playing for light side. Like, did he go with his standard of 12-card throne room, or did he go with something off the cuff, you know, something a little different? I mean, he went with the deck he knows best for dark side, so it's going to be interesting to see what he's playing for light side. I'm guessing after he won last night, if I were Kendall, and, like, if I win that team tournament, I've already got a win under my belt for the weekend, right? I, I'm mm -hmm. playing what I want to, what I think is going to be the most fun, right? And for him, yeah. that's probably the 12-card throne room okay, so we are on Casey's turn he gets there's the scum and he's looking through his hand right now he's sending a ton of characters yeah good point there Joker King and it looks like you see a Zuckus and Miss Hunter as well but he is taking his time to f uh, figuring out what he wants to do here Too late there, dude. Okay. All right, so we got scum out, right? That is, that's all characters in his hand except for like, I guess the ship. Mm hmm. Okay, so we got a slave one coming down with uh, a an alien. It was Woof. Woof. Team Woof in two straight games. Yeah. Who would have thought our first two games would have been a wolf or a, a scum or a two scum decks, right? Court and, yeah, two scum decks. Okay, so Django comes down onto the Falcon or onto the the Slave One. Uh, throws down another character as well. Another shiny alien. Now, is this the Slave One or the starship formerly known as Slave One? Well, that's the Slave One symbol of fear. Yeah. What's the okay. new name for it now? I don't think they have a name. It's just Boba Fett's ship. Boba Fett's fire spray class attack ship. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Barriers the 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 one alien, and Casey will grab it with his last force. Did we catch what that third alien was? No, but he must be good. If that drew the barrier and not the ship. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, do you really fear the woof? And. Yeah, yeah. Django? The best starship pilot in the galaxy. 
<laughs> well, you wouldn't you fear the symbol of fear, and you should just bury that right away. I don't know, like, but then he doesn't stack like all those guys on there. You, 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 got, you might think that he does because you have to. If you bury the ship, uh, if Matt buries the ship, Casey has to assume that on Matt's turn, because there's nowhere he can run away. I guess he can fly down to uh, ah. the ground, but like you have to keep all of that. Uh, you have to have enough forfeit on there to be able to sustain. And it looks like Casey came down with Ponda Baba as well. Yeah, so Pana Baba Woof is a pretty good combo. Oh, yeah. Um, Thorsh, I don't think he's worried about uh, Zuckus because he has seven ability between Ray and Cassian. Yeah, Woof, not Woof. Pana Baba doing that extra Destiny to Attrition would have hurt. Mm hmm. There's a site. <laughs> it's also a blessing and a curse that all of the Jakku sites are now available in foil. It's just really sunny on Jakku right now. <laughs> are all of them yeah, available for foil? Wants to go back. Well, I mean, the Ravenger site isn't foil. Is that? I don't think that's one people play though. So yeah, I mean, the docking bay is not foil. I don't think that's one people play though. So I think we're fine. <laughs> All of the reasonable sites. So it looks like he's putting Leia back to get somebody in. I would guess Poe. Emerald I think it's edge. just the lights on that side, Jared. Yeah. yeah. Jared, I'm not, I don't think it's actually the foils. It's just funny that they all happen to be foils, though. Because mm -hmm. presumably this is Brian's Fred, Brian Fred's decks. I don't know, because... So I got Akbar with, uh, with Brave Resistance that we see projection on Audience Chamber. Oh, Man, I see was... a protector in Matt's hand. That's a spicy card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Akbar is good, but like you don't necessarily need him for um, like leadership or something because it's not going to help. Uh, but Solo comes down, so Solo's going to get an extra destiny. Yeah, maybe you, maybe you do Akbar just to get um, an extra destiny from leadership, not not limit. Looks like he's just drawing. So we saw the solo come down. I mean, now the Falcon is what immune less than six. Uh, that sounds right. He drew up a second ray, so he can afford to lose ray here. Mm. Yeah, I also saw him draw up uh, red squadron leader wedge as well. Ooh, that might be a good card. If he can get like the rogue one out with that. I mean, Matt's hand is looking pretty good. Okay, there goes a Admiral Holdo. That's not a card you really want to use if you want to have. Uh, oh, that's a good point, Joker King. Solo is the passenger. So it's only Mulus and four. Yeah, I mean, I think he has Punch It or something anyway. So I don't mm -hmm. think it's going to be um, that big of a deal. I think I saw a Punch It go by. I was going to say, I thought I saw an uh, I Know as well. I think that's Protector you're looking at. <laughs> Maybe. He's just doing the pan movement with his cards a little too fast there. That's very true, Joker King. Uh, 
I like the uh, Washington Nationals Star Wars edition hat, Bill. Yeah, you like that? Look at that. Look at that right there. Lenny got me this hat, actually, I think. That was too low. I don't know where my camera is. Okay, so we're on Casey's turn right now. He did drain. He, and it uh, looks like he, um, Matt lost a holdo there. So we're still in Casey's. I assume he's in his deploy phase looking for DeRoe so he can get IG-88 out. Yeah, this time, like, coming down like that, it's obviously good to be able to contest that drain of two. Um, but you were going to retrieve one of those anyway. Uh, but now you have to kind of reinforce that because you Matt has a huge hand. He's going to activate, let's say, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, yeah. 11, 12. Next turn has 13, 14 force to work with, something like that. So he it looks like he used his once-per-game pool with the audience chamber, missed the draw or something, and, looks, and Mighty Jabba is now on the table. Yeah, Mighty Jabba, more of a, a mains card. So not, not the best find, but probably not the worst find either. Mm -hmm. And Casey's just drawing. Matt's going to play Rebel. That's a leadership, yeah. Rebel, yeah, Rebel Leadership. Sorry, the name just like blanked in my head for a second. Get Radis. See, now that's a good pull because once he, if he can get Radis out... And again, if he's playing the Rogue One, put somebody on the Rogue One with Wedge. That's really good. Yeah, it's going to come down to what he activates for that. Mm -hmm. Man, that Rebel, that uh, Leia Rebel Princess is just like staring down. <laughs> like, you see, he's like, okay, do I throw her down? What do I do here? Okay. Checking out what his cards in his deck are. And there's a Rogue One. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah. So again, with Radis down, Rogue One... I mean, Radis is free. Rogue One is what? Three. And then Wedge is four, so that's seven. You need a pilot on there with Wedge also. Yeah, that's the only problem. Yeah, it looks like this is what he's going to do this turn. <laughs> Casey's like, man, I missed that Rogue One in your deck. <laughs> okay, there's the Red Squadron leader, Wedge. He only costs three, he's not four. That's what I thought. And four for Hera. Okay. Hera's pretty good because there's three. Yeah. Uh, Jared in the chat is saying we need Tard M Mason. He is a legend. That's going to be a loss in there for Matt. He's got one from Mobility, one mm -hmm. from Solo, and one from Hera, right? Yep. And then he's canceling Casey's destiny. Which means that extra destiny from Ponda Baba doesn't matter. No. This is not how you wanted to go with this game. Okay. This always happens when Oof. Darkseid tries to go to Jakku early. Guys, that's a second protector. Yeah, so that's a four, a five, and a four for Matt. Casey draws a four but it's canceled with Wedge. So 13, 19, 19. Casey uh, asking now about uh, a ruling, mm -hmm. presumably to say, I want to add to attrition, but Matt told him, no, there's not going to be attrition. You yeah. need about listening for there to be attrition. Does he have to draw it if he schedules it, though? I mean, that doesn't matter. Uh -huh. okay. 
I mean, each of the destinies are going to be minus one because of Woof. So that saves Casey a little. And then Rogue One is what, power three? That sounds right. Power two. So, six, two, eight, plus six, twelve, twenty, thirty. Thirty for Matt, and two, six. Roof adds. Roof adds three. Mm -hmm. So six. Yeah, look, so twelve. Down by eighteen. Um, and Casey had to lose everything. Yeah. That's why you don't go to Jakku. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like when you you come down like that, you need to be prepared for that type of counterbeat. Mm -hmm. And like. Even if he didn't find Wedge and Rogue One, he could have found Cassian, or he could have found um, R2. Like, there's a lot yeah. of ways for, for old allies to to be king things. Yeah. But the good thing for Casey is he still has all... Well, actually... Unless Matt has decided to play simple tricks and nonsense, again, I don't know if he has yet. I mean, Casey's yeah. going to be able to retrieve. Um, I think he did retrieve. No, I guess not, because that's well, that's two cards. I, mm -hmm. I think he did retrieve because the ship would have been the last thing he forfeited, so that should have been on top. So I think mm -hmm. he retrieved with the objective. Okay, there's IG-88. Now, Casey can't start uh, searching out his force power until he moves the mithril over to IG-88 during this move phase. Okay, so he's going to do that. You just have to wonder, like, what he's looking for now, right? So, like, does he mm -hmm. have to attack from space? Does he try to set up a drain of something on Jakku? Because uh, Matt's still not even flipped yet. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I mean, if I think if you're Casey, you just waited. Let Matt drain you for two because you're retrieving one, as you said. I mean, he had, he would have had to start paying to drain, and, and you don't lose three uh, three cards that are really important in this matchup. And then, then you wait until you get IG88 to get your like Stinger and Gurry out. Yeah, I mean, I think in this matchup, you just don't even you don't even want to fight in space. You just want to stay alive. Mm -hmm. SCT. No, I, I think this is a matchup that slightly favors the OA player because your space is just so much better. Looks like the stream is struggling right now. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I think, Jeremy, I think we need to get you off the team viewer. I think that's part of the reason why. I'm not on it anymore. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's struggling a, a little bit over here. How is the stream for everybody who's watching? Okay, so Lore, so he's putting back. Looks like Ray to get Lore Santeca. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of it right now. So, stream not doing well for me.
Okay, Garrett's on it. I like how you and Bill have almost the exact same chair. Well, I think there should be a way that we can uh, push the stream video through Discord, and then you would run OBS on your computer and just share the Discord uh, yeah. video feeds. I think that's what, yeah. Okay, let's try but that. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's what we want to try right now. Let's just see what happens after he restarts the computer. Okay. When I say restart, I say a full restart. Okay, everybody. Okay, everyone. So, oh. I feel like a lot has changed here. Okay, testing one, two, three. Can you guys hear us? Hello. Uh, 
Uh, Jeremy said yes in chat, so I'm assuming that means that we can hear it. We heard Dan's test. All right, I think we're good. Is there an echo or anything? Echo, echo. Because I'm good too. I guess no echo. Good to go. Jeremy might be muted still. Okay. Maybe it's on Jeremy's end. I'm not sure. Like, are you guys watching on Twitch? I'm watching on Twitch, yes. Jeremy's definitely muted. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely a lot that we miss, unfortunately, because we had some computer issues. Yeah, well, uh, board state looks obviously very different here. Um, KT got out now, Huda has Zuckus and Mist Hunter, so it's maintaining a space presence. Um, we see a big pile of cards on Matt's side uh, on the ground that were not there when, when the stream cut out, so um, I think Blue 11, Lor Santeca, Poe piloting Blue 11, Rogue 3, Anakin, there's a Statura, Rose, and I saw, interestingly enough, um, I did see heading for the medical frigate in at the bottom of Matt's pile, so this might be the first turn where Casey was able to cause damage. Um, I can't tell who he has, who Casey has at sites. I see Proxima now down to the carbonite chamber. Uh, but there are definitely three other characters on Jakku. One of them looks to be Cad Bane on the far right. Um, couldn't tell you anything else about the other ones. Okay, thank you. Wait, no, it can't be the fifth brother. He's playing CCC with Scum. Yeah, we guess that's Hondo, actually, on the far left. Yeah. The, the new AI Hondo from the OCS. Um, I think the one on the right is Cad Bane because he has a big hat. It's a big hat. Um, and then can't tell you that looks like a droid. Here up. Can you guys hear me? Oh, in the middle. Oh, I hear you, Jeremy. Hello. All right. Yeah. Back. If that's a battle droid, that's definitely interesting. I mean, B2 battle droid isn't an unreasonable card to play in this type of deck, right? It's a deploy four, draws a destiny, adds one to attrition. Uh, yeah. I think it's a sea slip card, too. Which one are we trying to look, trying to figure out? Uh, the middle card Casey has at Jakku. It's R Singh, isn't it? I don't know, man. There you go. You <laughs> did say it was a C slip. All right, so Zam Wessel and P59 and two red cards went off the top after uh, Matt drained four, two, and two. He's going to send Statura over to Hondo's site. Uh, Matt was able to flip while we were gone. Combined fleet action is out there. Down comes Chewy. Chewy with Bowcaster. That's not a good card. AC holding looks like Uta, three characters. Uh, if I didn't know better, I would have said that was scanning crew. Oh, that's what he was pulling out of his uh, force pile. It was not scanning crew. It just looked like scanning crew. Here comes Leia Rebel Princess also. Uh, so Matt will be able to cancel some drains. So I'm not going to battle uh, Hondo, but that gets projectioned. Pro pro projectived. Projectived. And that battle gets cancelled.
And there's a poor hondo over there on an island. Okay, it looks like Ig also delivered the mithril to the dungeon to retrieve two force. Um, so that drain on on Jabba's palace is going to be one at the dungeon, right? Yeah. Yes. So one at the dungeon, one at the carbonite chamber, one at Nel Hutta. And then the two Jakku ones can get uh, canceled by Leia, potentially. Is the site that Leia is at, is that the 2-2? Two -two? I think that's the 2-2, two -two, yeah. Yeah, that's the 2-2. Two -two. Last turn. I will say uh, big props to Garrett. Garrett, in addition to restarting the computer so that we can stream again, uh, did post the the breakdown of decks. Right back. Um, so for light side, it looks like a lot of Yoda commuting, old allies, and no idea. Um, that's 19 of the 33 decks. Then for dark side, it is Shadow Collective, Rops, Bring Them Before Me, um, three CCTs actually in the field too. So uh, there is a bunch of one ofs, which is interesting. There's two QMCs, which I think is also interesting. Two EBOs and two Yavin Four Ops, all very interesting to me. Um, only one person playing Forces Strong in my family seems a little low. There's a WAP. There's a Saber Combat. There's a Prophet. There's one that's just labeled like my father before me. Um, and then on the dark side, like I said, six Shadow Collective, five Rops, five Bring Them Before Me, three CCTs, and then you get two Cetric Course, two Revenge of the Sith, two Map, two Black Sun, uh, a Hunt Down V, a Walker's, the One Court, which we know is Garrett, or Garrett, um, Kendall, the uh, Dark Deal, a Dark Combat, and Invasion. So see Dan? Well, oh, Dan's gone. Dark Deal, huh? Dark Deal. One of my favorite cards growing up. I'm sure you'll get into that in your podcast in the next episode. Oh, yeah. So I see Mara came down, and Gamma Wyronic, and Prince Zizor also came down to Jakku. And we'll battle. So battling into Chewie, uh, Statura. Anakin, and somebody aboard Rogue 3 who I don't know who it is. He, uh... Did he drain through Leia this turn? Did you notice? Uh, that's not the same card he had on top of his Lost Pile, so... I don't know. I was reading deck types. I didn't realize Dan stepped away. Okay, so he did drain through Leia. Okay. Yeah. Which I think I think that's a good play because Casey's ahead on the damage race after that. Yeah. After getting through Leia. So Gamble went used when he got hit. Um and then there's six total, so Casey ended up losing um Mara, I think. But Gamble got hit? Yeah. What one? Uh, Chewie with Bowcaster. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Who is now? Who was hit by Mara? So he's gone now. I think that's Hondo and Zizor versus um, Anakin and Rogue Three and whoever's piloting it. I think Poe, right? No, he would have drawn more Desmond. I think it's Poe. Oh, no, it would have been Poe because Poe would add one and Statura would not add one. So Matt's going to get in drains of two and two. He's going to get one retrieval from Rose. AC is holding a barrier. And a Greedo. 
and a the is it Odin for no there it goes anyway never mind yep. no it's gone <laughs> retrieves one retrieves Statura uh, Lord Santeca sends Ray not Ray Rose over to the battle. I wonder if Casey is playing uh, Gallad in his deck. Be interesting. Good card. It'd be pretty good right here. So BB-8 comes down also. And now Finn yep. is going to get barriered, I think. Yeah, so once he moved Rose over, I think Finn was kind of telegraphed. Um, is he not burying? Oh, barrier's grab, so I guess he can't afford to bury your Finn. Rita will yep. react to the battle. Yep. Just like you said. Draws Rose for Destiny, which is a six. I missed Casey's. It's a four, I think, stunning leader. Yeah, okay, yeah. he flipped it. That means Finn is going used, most likely. Yep. There goes Sam. That must be, oh, I always forget about the power difference from CGT. I was going to say, like, probably being outpowered by a decent amount here would have to lose two guys, but he gets, first of all, Greedo's three, Sizor's five, Honda's he was four. 19 power, I think. Yeah. Mm. Dan reappearing and saying, hmm. My parents came over to pick up their dog. Yeah. Huh. Oh, good point there, James. Do you only get the plus three if the prize is at the audience chamber or with scum? Touche. Wait. I wonder if they if they realize that in this game. I mean, I don't know what their power totals were, but does BB-8 need to be with a resistance character? You just leave Lor Santeca there. Well, Lor Santeca is a resistance character. So yeah, that, he was he was getting ready to move Lor Santeca. So is that um, Poe on Blue Eleven? I think so. Well, we thought Poe was piloting Rogue Three, but we could have been wrong about that. Yeah. Where's our new primer for CCT, James? I'm assuming there's not a lot of time in this match because as you can see behind Matt, there's a lot of people and tables still open. Like everybody's walking around. Yeah, we might get multiple time games right away. Yeah. I mean, both players have a lot of cards on table. I can't really tell how much is in the lost pile. You all have to ask Brian, Fred, Vincent. <laughs> I don't know where he got all these AI foils from. Well, I think he's just saying they changed the, the backside of some of the objectives mm -hmm. about, I would say, six months ago. Yeah. Um, like... Uh, Y4 Ops, Imperial Entanglements, oh, no, no yeah. idea. All of them got new images on the front or the back. Uh, Garrett just posted in the thread, in a different thread, that the this game is at time, so I assume time has been called. Okay. Time is going to be called, right? It looks like, looks like Matt's going to eat this one out, I would assume. Mm -hmm. 
But if Casey can find like first strike here and have another character to battle at Aura Sight, that'd be pretty good. Force swing. I know a lot of these CCTs are playing the combo, the battle water and first strike. So I don't know if that Casey is pay playing it or not. I think that's a mistake, and it always has been, because there are times where you want to pull battle order. Mm -hmm. You can't, because then you don't get first strike. So Casey has, what, two cards in reserve deck, and probably he's shuffling about 16, I would guess, that are in his force pile. Any idea who the two gentlemen are behind Matt? Uh, one on the right is Garrett. You can see the beard poking out from under the mask. Mm -hmm. But who's the second one? I don't know. It might be Mia Shiro. Why is nobody wearing their mask from Worlds? You know, the, the <laughs> PC one? I got one of those right here. I mean, we're already socially distancing, Bill. You don't really have to put on your mask. I wasn't going to put it on. I was going to show everybody. Uh -huh. All right, I will be right back again. I'm sorry. As we get towards the end of the game, once the game is, we figure out who is the winner, uh, we'll do another token, and we'll do a trivia question for, you know what, let's give out one of those AI packs for GEMP. Matt is figuring out how much is left in his deck. Yeah, I think it's going to be close. And both, Matt's got a lot of cards on the table. Mm -hmm. I think Casey's hand right now is barrier plus kick. I think that's his hand. Uh, 
Oh, it looks like Leia was on Blue 11 to blank the ability at that site. Because he just drained there. Yeah, that's a free drain. I mean, you can't battle into it, though. Yeah, no, unless you got a droid. Yeah. But I wonder if this is the last turn. If it just ends on Matt's turn. Mm -hmm. Everybody who's watching, Garrett, our tournament director, has already posted what types of decks are being played. The Right now, the highest number for light side is Yona Communing at 8. And then for dark side, the highest played deck is Shadow Collective. Any surprises there, Jeremy? I don't think so. I think that's pretty, uh, it's pretty expected. Yeah, there's six people playing old allies, five no ideas. But then after that, I like you see twos and ones of the rest of the light side. Uh two quiet mining colonies, two EBOs, two Y4 ops, two Qui-Gon commutings. So I, I find it funny that only there's there's only the two Qui-Gon commuting. I d I just think Yoda commuting offers so much more. Than Qui Gon commuting. Mm -hmm. Plus, there's the there's like two variants, right? There's the one that's all in on ground, and then there's the one that plays space and mm -hmm. ground. So no, it's not shocking to me. I figured the three best decks would be commuting, no idea, and old allies. It feels like it's been that way for a while now. Oh wow, Casey playing Ellis in Matt's turn. Interesting. But he's trying to Ellis to the 2-2, two, two, though, which says that you need an extra we force have to a, move a, there, right? Yep, we yep, have we the, have the, the, the session. Or the handshake, I should say. Was that Matt conceding? Um, not sure. I think Matt won that one. I think so, too. Well, we'll see in a second. Seems like a pretty interesting game. Sorry, we uh, had technical difficulties halfway through. Yeah. Well, I mean, we did have a we only uh, what's the quote from episode one? A communications disruption can only mean one thing. An invasion. And, and funny enough, some one person is playing invasion today. Yeah, what hey, version? Hey, we should get that on stream. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling some of the, like the fact that there's so many one of decks might just be due to the fact that there's uh, several wall set graduates there. Mm -hmm. and maybe they don't have the the cards to to build everything the same, you know. So like, one one kid gets the invasion, one kid gets the dark deal type deck. That's a good point. Would you rather have dark deal or invasion? I think Dark Deal is completely underplayed right now. Um, the version that like Paul and Timo played a lot, where it's you know occupation with ATSTs. I think it's really good against mains. So I don't know, man. I feel like you should be playing it. Someone should be playing it. Mm. All right. So they posted pairings, and I see that Matt Scott is near the top. So Matt Scott probably won that game. 
Yeah, he'll be playing against Mike Kessel. Mike Kessel run. Well, I think we're going to I think we should go with table 1 though. Because yeah, I'm not sure that's a new player. AJ Hatoom? Yeah. AJ Hatoom's on my fantasy team. Really? Yeah. Do you have insider information? He's a good player. I've seen him play a bunch on Gimp. I think he actually I think he beat me in the OCS in the month that I just crashed and burned. But I think he got me. What's his uh, handle? 